Show me what you got. Rhonda, this cover is defective. It keeps falling in the pool. That's because you didn't lay a rope grid over the pool first. You have to do that with all form-fit covers. Use stakes and rope to lay a grid across the pool. Make sure the rope is tight enough to support the cover while you install it. Okay, Osterman, where's your anchor plan? Uh, here. Uh, no. Every form-fit loop lock cover comes with a computer printout showing exactly how to lay out the cover and where the anchor should be positioned. Stretch the cover over the rope grid following loop lock's anchor plan. Be sure to adjust for equal overlap on all sides. Once the cover is properly aligned, attach the springs to the straps. Lace the strap through the square end of the spring. Position the buckle close to the X at the end of the strap. That way, all the straps will be even, and you'll be able to get the springs properly compressed. That's important. Okay, now you're ready to locate and install the first four anchors. Just check your anchor plan. Let's see. Uh, oh, here it is. Anchor number one, right in the middle. Now mark the first anchor point on the deck. Okay, that would be right here. Uh, no. Here? No. Here. No. Yeah. No. Here. No, you've got to measure. Here. Here it is. As you can see on the bottom ruler, this particular cover has an overlap of 15 inches. To find the anchor point, measure 18 inches back from the edge of the cover, not from the edge of the pool. That's important because if you install the anchor too close, you'll never get the springs properly compressed. Mark the anchor point straight back along the strap line. There's no reason to be baffled by the case of anchor installation. My investigation has revealed all it takes is careful planning and a steady hand. Check out the evidence. Here it is, 18 inches on the nose. Good. Now what can you tell me about this deck? Well, uh, it's kind of comfortable. No. <laughs> it's stone. And this stone is thick enough so that we can use loop lock standard concrete deck anchors. Now, where's your drill? Here she is, Old Faithful. Looks more like Old Fallible to me. Now this is more like it. You'll get best results if you use a rotary hammer drill with a long spline bit. Use a three-quarter inch bit. For all concrete decks and thick stone like this one, use loop lock standard brass anchoring system. To be sure your drill is straight, have your partner stand back and sight for you. Drill a straight, clean hole, two and one quarter inches deep. Before inserting the brass anchor shell, spray the shell, insert, and tamp tool with a silicone spray. Insert the shell in the hole and tamp lightly with the tamp tool until it's flush and tight. Then, screw the brass insert into the shell using the hex anchor tool if necessary. Concrete, brick, wood. A good installer can handle them all. That's why you've got to be prepared for anything. And why you've got to watch this. And you, get back to work. For brick, pavers, or stones laid loose on sand or cement, use the anchor and pipe method. You'll need a length of 3 quarter inch inside diameter pipe or conduit 15 inches long. Secure loop lock's brass anchor shell in the end. Before drilling, try to locate and avoid any underground water pipes. Use a rotary drill with a bit large enough to accommodate the width of your pipe or conduit. Drill between the bricks or pavers to avoid cracking them. Continue drilling in case concrete is laid under the brick. Finally, drive the anchor and pipe assembly into the deck until flush. Place a block of wood over the end so you don't damage the anchor assembly. If the pipe gets stuck, you may not have drilled far enough. For a nice clean look, use Looplock's masonry anchor collars. You'd be surprised what a difference they make. For wood decks, you have two options. If the deck is at least an inch and three quarters thick, you can use Looplock's standard brass anchoring system.
Otherwise, use Luplock's wood deck anchor flanges as shown here. Okay, now what's the next step? Break for lunch. No, you should install the springs on the anchors. You'll be able to see the steps of spring installation clearly against this white deck. Insert the installation rod through the spring and pull back until it slides down around the anchor. To remove the spring, just reverse the operation. When installed for the first time, springs should be totally compressed for a proper fit. For instance, this spring is way too loose. Let's review form fit anchor installation on this basic kidney shaped pool. Always start with the anchors at the middle of the cover. Install the center four anchors and springs across the length of the pool first. Then, install the next four anchors and springs across the width of the pool. Install the remaining anchors in an alternating pattern, working from the middle of the cover to the ends. Remember, a properly installed cover is a safe cover, no matter what kind of company drops by. The clues told me the case was under control. Then it happened. Osterman hit the wall. Gee, what am I going to do with this? Aha! Caught you red-handed trying to bypass proper raised wall installation. That can get you five to ten years, Osterman, in remedial installation school. This is important. Even though we're showing you the procedure now, you should install all raised wall sections first before measuring or installing any regular anchors. When you first lay out the cover, pull the snap hooks close to the wall or rock to mark the eye bolt locations. At each location, carefully drill to a depth of two and one quarter inches using a five eighths inch bit. For safety, consider using a float to protect your drill from the water and always use a ground fault interrupter on your power line. The lead shield comes in two parts that fit together. Make sure you insert the lead shield into the wall, flared end first. Tamp with the lead shield tamp tool. Then, screw the eye bolt into the shield and fasten the snap hook to the eye bolt. The lead shields can also be used in wood obstructions, as long as they're at least two and three quarter inches thick. Luplock's patented Safe Edge Child Safety Barrier can be trimmed to fit irregularities. But be careful, trimming too much could make the cover unsafe. Let's see, uh, cover laid out, mm -hmm. anchors installed, springs attached. I am out of here, <laughs> woohoo! Hang on, there's one job left to do. You need to do a final check to make sure the cover is tight. Here are some examples of correctly installed loop lock covers. As you can see, the cover must be very tight, like a trampoline and should lie flat on the deck with no bunches or creases. Now these are installations you could be proud of. Installation of rectangular covers is very similar to form fits. The major difference is that you should install the eight anchors at the corners first. Measure back 18 inches at right angles to the edge of the cover. See the loop lock installation guide for complete rectangular installation instructions. If you run into a measuring or installation mystery we haven't covered here, you know the tool to use, this one.